Hi, this is a sequence of videos in which I'm going to walk through a code tutorial and show you how to set up the game Reversi, otherwise known as Othello, as a web application. This will entail a lot of different technologies, including using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We'll use Bootstrap. We'll use jQuery. We're going to use some cloud-based resources like GitHub and Heroku. And we're going to use a server-side technology called Node.js, or a way of um, running JavaScript um, independent from a browser. These are a lot of different threads of technology that are all going to come together as we put them into this application. And it's going to be a game. And so it should be kind of fun. In this video, what I would like to do is lay out the basic user experience of the game so we know where we're headed and so we don't lose track of what the goal is when we're in the middle of all the weeds of the technology. I'm Professor Don Patterson. Okay, the overall look of the game is going to look something like this. If we start in the upper left here, we're going to start with a file called index.html. That'll be a page in which we have a title graphic, some kind of, uh, you know, logo, some sort of indication of uh, what this game is about. There's going to be a place for people that arrived, enter their names, and then a button that says go to lobby. Underneath that, there'll be some kind of supporting graphic, additional information, whatever seems appropriate. A little space for that. And then two buttons, one for an about page and one for a rules page. Now the about page is going to, going to kick to another um, page also on our website where we tell a little bit of the story of where the game is and what we're doing, what the point is, maybe a bio if you're using it as a portfolio piece. And the rules button will go directly to a Wikipedia page on Wikipedia explaining the game and the history and the rules. For both the Wikipedia entry and the about entry, we're going to rely on the browser back button in order for the user to navigate back. So we're not going to have a separate um, back button that we're going to manually implement. As we um, as the user enters their name and then goes to lobby, what we're going to do is we're going to shift the user from index.html to a new page, lobby.html. And when we send the user there, we're going to add a URL parameter, which is the name and then whatever they entered in in their form. So that the lobby.html web page will be able to grab that name and build up an invitation list. So this lobby is working like a place where players can join in order to start a game. So if my name is DJP3 and I go into the lobby, I'm going to see a list of all the other players who are in the lobby right now. And a bunch of buttons next to them indicating that I can invite them to play a game. So if I click on a button, we're not going to change pages. We'll still be on lobby.html. But what I'll see as someone who's clicked on a button is that the button will go from saying invite to saying invited. Someone who has been invited, for example, if I invite Bill and Bill's button turns yellow, what Bill is going to see is he's going to see an entry for me, DJP3, and his button is going to go from invite to play. So I will have invited him. He will have the opportunity to accept that invitation by clicking play. If he kick, clicks play, both DJP3 and Bill will both get shifted to a new web page, game.html, with a URL parameter ID and some kind of number there that indicates which game they're in. And they'll be able to play the game. Most of the game will happen here on this web page. Information will be communicated back to a server, server.js, which is going to keep track of the game state and the messages that are being pa passed back and forth. After some time, someone will have won. The game will recognize that. It will throw a pop-up there or some kind of indication that one of our users has won, and it will populate a button that says return to lobby. When the user clicks on that, they will get sent back to the lobby and they can begin the process again. So this is the basic layout of the game. Uh, you'll be able to change you know, the look and feel a little bit if you like, but that's what we're heading for. And now we're going to, um, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll set up the infrastructure on the cloud hosting services and on our local computer so that we can begin to build this out. All right, thank you for your attention. Thank you.